Have you ever wondered, Earth weighs 60 million billion tons, yet there's nothing holding it up or tying it in place, so how can it simply float in space without falling? Is there some mysterious force keeping it suspended? Actually, this question was answered over 300 years ago. Newton proposed the idea of the cannon on a mountain. If you fire a cannonball fast enough sideways, it won't fall to the ground, but will keep falling around Earth forever. He calculated that at a speed of 7.9 kilometers per second, called first cosmic velocity, an object would keep falling without ever hitting the ground, effectively becoming a satellite. In the 20th century, Einstein's general theory of relativity showed us something even deeper. Massive objects bend space-time around them. Celestial bodies aren't held in place by some invisible string. They move along the curved paths of space-time itself. In our solar system, the Sun holds 99.86% of all its mass, bending space so strongly that the planets must orbit around it. Earth floats in space because of its initial velocity, like Newton's cannonball, perfectly balancing gravity as it orbits the Sun. But that's not all. The entire solar system is racing around the center of the Milky Way at 220 kilometers per second, while the Milky Way itself is speeding toward the Great Attractor at 600 kilometers per second. We don't feel any of this motion because we always use Earth as our reference point. Yet in reality, this planet is carrying us on an endless journey through the vast universe.